guys and welcome to another what I eat video. So last time I did a what I eat in a week and this time I'm doing a what I eat in a day in London. I thought I would try out both of these formats before I kind of stick to one because I want to know which one you guys like the best. If you like the weekly ones or the daily ones do let me know. It's so much easier for me to do the daily ones because obviously they don't take an entire week to film but yeah let me know. I was going to London this day with my friend Lucy. We were going to try the restaurant by Chloe. It's just opened in London but it's quite big in America so I thought I would take you along to that. By Chloe is fully vegan. All they do is vegan food so yeah I wanted to try that out and see if I liked anything. As a super picky eater I wanted to see if I liked anything but you'll see in the video that didn't all go to plan because ugh, the service was just quite bad. I think I sound like I'm whinging in this video but honestly the service was terrible but yeah we'll get to that. One thing that I didn't mention in my last what I eat video is that I had a gastric sleeve operation when I was 18. I'm 23 now so it was five years ago so right now I am able to eat a lot more than I used to be able to eat. Basically a gastric sleeve is where they cut out a large portion of your stomach and make your stomach smaller. It's used as a weight loss thing for people who are obese and struggling to lose weight and have maybe a heart condition or diabetes or looming illnesses on the way. Um, for me it was very much needed. I've spoken about this in my weight loss surgery video so if you'd like a more in-depth like talk about that then go ahead and watch that one. I will link it in the down bar but yeah I don't want to promote eating smaller portions that is not what I'm here for. This is personally just what I eat in a day having had my operation so don't look at my videos and copy them. That's not why I'm here. I just love to watch these videos and I thought I would make my own but at the same time I can eat a lot more than I used to be able to eat so. So in these videos a lot of my portions will look like normal normal portion sizes. I feel like this is such a long-winded way to explain it but yeah if my portion sizes look a bit smaller bear in mind that I have a smaller stomach than most people but at the same time it has been five years since the operation so as you will have seen in my what I eat in a week video I was like piling plates full of food because I can eat that now it just takes me a while so instead of me being able to like wolf a huge meal down it will take me literally like three or four hours to finish it which is insane, but yeah. Ugh. I thought I would mention this anyway, because I had a couple of comments on that video like, wait, you should probably explain that you've had that operation in case people look at your diet and think that they should be eating like that. I think with these videos, you should always take them with a pinch of salt. You should never copy them, unless they're specific like recipe videos for you to try. I feel like what I eat in a day videos, you shouldn't copy them. You should do what works for you and this is what works for me. So yeah, let's jump into it. This was a huge long-winded intro. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I've just been eating a big bowl of porridge that I made. I made it with hazelnut milk. I used some agave nectar to sweeten it and a banana. A thousand words ain't enough to define the body up, body up, yeah. Got a look and she wants it back. She's firing up. That body up yeah, yeah. You think that I want you But not, not, babe You're one in a million But it's not for me I'm not into girls with a plastic trace Don't take it too personally I've got to eat this quite quick because I'm going to London today And that is why I thought I would film this video I thought it would be different to try and see what I eat on a day in London, I'm going to be going for lunch with my friend Lucy, and then I think I might be going to dinner with Elle. So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I gotta go. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Because if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it. I'm just waiting for Lucy. She said she had to change tube. So she's gonna be like five minutes, but yeah, I'm just gonna wait here. I'm excited to see her and I'm so hungry. I can't wait to go to buy Chloe because I really wanted to try it for ages. Ever since I've seen Sophia and Chinzia's vlog from New York, because they went all the time. We have made it. <laughs> it's raining, but it looks oh, cute. <laughs> I said if you're blind 
Okay, so I got the mac and cheese. I decided to give that a go. And I got some fries. I wasn't meant to get sweet potato though. It was meant to be the air fried like normal ones. So I don't think I'll eat them because I don't like them. But yeah, I'm gonna try this, see what it's like. Right, I thought I would do a little taste test. This is the bacon stuff. Mm. Oh, oh my god, that actually tastes like bacon. Oh my god. I'm not even being funny, this is so nice. It's hard to bake it. Oh my god, I just ate a mushroom. You don't like mushrooms? I never eat mushrooms. I haven't eaten a mushroom since I was like seven. Except last week I ate one too. <laughs> this is so nice, 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm. Lucy's gonna try this. Isn't it nice? <laughs> I just asked if I can change my fries, so we've got the normal fries, so I will taste test these as well. And beetroot ketchup! <laughs> these fries are freaking nice. They are salty like me. <laughs> so, we have just eaten in by Chloe. I'm with Lucy now, by the way. Hi! Ah. Really? Yeah, it's kind of drizzling, so I've got this... <laughs> <laughs> got this glorious attire going on and looking wonderful but we are off to find a bev to celebrate something just had some good work news. some good work news for lucy so we are off to find a bev somewhere so guys we have got our cocktails i went for a porn star martini it's so nice anyway we're gonna enjoy these now my battery is running out oh. which is so annoying we've also got sean hey <laughs> Down the hatch, <laughs> oh, I do not like Prosecco. <laughs> On to cocktail number two. No idea how many calories this has got, but it's yummy. Lucy's gone for mine this time. Woohoo! Chin chin. <laughs> Bye Chloe actually gave me a cookie to say sorry for getting my order wrong. And we're gonna try it. So it looks like this. Right, half each. <laughs> Oh my gosh guys, I finally got home. It's so late. It is quarter to nine. I'm so tired and hungry. Our meal at by Chloe was nice. The service was not great. I mean, the servers were great apart from giving me the wrong thing and forgetting to cook my meal actually because I was waiting there for like 15 minutes and then I said to them, I've been waiting here for a long time, like would you be able to check my order? And they forgot to do it. <laughs> and then they gave me the wrong thing. So actually the service wasn't great either, but yeah, the food was nice. Honestly, it was such a mission to find a table. Lucy <laughs> nearly got in an argument with somebody about it because Lucy had her tray of food and one table of two seats just got free. So she went up to it and was about to put her stuff down and this girl who had no food like barged in front of her to get the table and then Lucy was like excuse me like I was going for that table obviously I've got food so please can I have it and the girl was like no no you're not sitting down <laughs> and she pure swiped the table so it took us ages to find a table took me ages to get served yeah the food was nice though I just won't be going back there until the hype has died down because that was not a fun time they definitely should have put more tables in there though because of how popular it, it is in new york surely they would know that it would be just as popular here oh i don't know so for tea i've just thrown something together because i'm really hungry i've got some tomatoes which i just put in the oven this is a corn chicken southern fried chicken thing i've never tried it before not sure if i'm gonna like it because i'm not that keen on fake meat i would normally rather just eat vegetables than have fake meat but, but roxy has told me that these are really good so i thought i would try it i then have sweet potato cubes and these little spinach bites which are incredible they're bright green inside as you can can see full of spinach so yummy that literally tastes like chicken what the hell it's got the same consistency and everything that is so trippy 
What? Thought I would show you how I actually eat it. I've just put some balsamic dressing on the tomatoes and a blob of ketchup because I can't eat chicken or fake chicken or any kind of meat or meat substitute or potato or anything without ketchup. It's such a bad habit. I need to break out of it, but oh, it's like my loving life. Mm. So that is the end of my what I eat in a day video. Do let me know if you like this format, if you'd be happy with the daily ones or if you like the weekly ones better. In fact, I will put a poll in the corner of this video if you click the I in the top corner and let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!